Did we solve the mystery? And I already prepared for the dungeon ahead. What's going on? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Eskin Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. And even though it's a Tuesday and I'm recording this over the weekend, you know what? It's still Master System Monday. What's up? All right. What are we, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be playing some more Golden Axe Warrior, trying to get through Dungeon 7. But first, but first, there is a little bit of unfinished business from the previous episode. So where we last left off, left off, I was actually looking for a heart container that should have been found in N1. And according to the map in N1 by Starfighter 76, it says that that heart container is actually located in the top left-hand corner. Nay, I see. No, it does not. I don't know if there was a revision of the game. You know, the U.S. version is different than the PAL version or whatever. Whatever happened, happened. But I did some digging and wound up finding out. World of Long Plays, by the way, a great site on YouTube. Go and check them out. Um, I'll actually probably toss a link to their channel below. Um, World of Long Plays has a long play of this entire game. It was about two hours. It's a guy who, like speed ran it or something. It was crazy. Um, kudos, mad skills. However, he did show the location of that um, that heart container. And where is it? Well, we're about to test it out to see if there's any version differences between me and uh, and this other one. So let's uh, hit this button and check out to see where he found it. Let's go. All right, so here's my little guy. Here he is, hanging out. Now, according to the World of Long Plays video, if I shoot my Earth magic at this guy right here, this this guy that I'm kind of like circling around. Oh, it didn't do it. Is it this one? There it is. Okay. I was I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. So it's you have to like so you have to use the ice bell so you can stand on the lava and then actually get in here. So we've uncovered it. And there is my guy. I'll give you life. Got the heart container. Boom! Now we got two full, and we got some more magic um, uh, containers to get. I guess we have to get those later on. Um, not exactly sure where I can find the uh, magic containers. However, I do know that we do have the um, the awesome heart container stuff um, done. So that is one checkbox to check off. So now, according to the walkthrough um, that we have on on uh, Game Facts, we are ready to go. We got the additional heart. The enemies are going to get tougher. It's fine. Um, and the other thing is, it doesn't say um, uh, it doesn't say anything except for the, in the very beginning of Dun of the uh, Dungeon Seven walkthrough. It does say you will need a key. Now, if I check my inventory and you've been following along, we actually have an extra key. Um, so if you don't, you got to hit up the shops um, for a key. There's the there's shops. I think the um, the shops in O2 actually have a key for purchase, so you can just get one of those using your horns there. But we got the spare key, so we're good to go. All right, so let's put the bell back on, actually. Um, and I think, yeah, we're going to get locked out. So we can't get over there until we go all the way around. So, bell. 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 You got to go around here. Other cool things, too. If you bell, see that other thing there? We can actually go see that um see that block that didn't turn. If you hit that block, there's actually a thing in there you can get, which is cool. It's like a story element um, or something. We're not going to do that right now, but figured I'd let you guys know. So when you're out and about in the in the desert areas and you need help finding, just boom, hit the bell. And if you're in an area that isn't already lava, um, if there's something that is going to, that needs to be uncovered rock wise. It'll show you which rock you need to hit. Very cool. Might be actually useful in the dungeon. I don't know. Maybe. All right, cool. So here we are back at Dungeon 7. We're ready to rock. Get the sword back in. 
Boom. Getting in here. There it is. Dungeon 7. I am ready. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, according to the walkthrough, get get the key, um, open the door, um, head into room 2. Room 2 contains three bats and two red bats. Kill all to reveal a key. You get another key. Head to room 3. This room contains four blue trolls and one red troll. Uh, use the central blocks with and your long sword to use to your advantage to kill them. So you can do that thing where you're like stuck in between the blocks and you just kind of jab at them. So we're probably going to do that. Um, all right, let's let's go. Bats. Got the key. All right. There is supposed to be a. Uh, where's the entrance? Um, entrance is G7 on my map. All right, cool. So they're actually, this is pretty direct. There isn't actually a lot of um, zigzags. Like the other labyrinth was like this big sea of things that you had to push this thing, get that thing, whatever. Looks like we're pretty much diving in on a straight line. Um, so let's go. Wow, I'm just getting hit. All right, so we got the pots. So they're good. There we go. And that's that's actually how you were supposed to do it. <laughs> All right. Let's hope, hopefully, some other things will will uh, grant us some life. Uh, what is what is the next room? Um, this room contains two blue skeletons, one red skeletons. Dodge the arrows. Push the lights on the far side to open the door. This room contains three. Wait. Um, all right. Dodge the arrows and push the lights on the far far side to open the door. Okay. Ah. Oh man, I'm getting nailed here. What is this? Red bats. All right, so I guess they're not gonna hurt me. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm in an, an invincibility area, so I can read this. Okay. <clears throat> This room contains three red bats and three red sorcerers. Kill these to reveal another key. Use the earth magic to access the lights on the right to open the, the room in the next door. All right, so we're going to need all sorts of different things um, here in order to get this. So, Ugh, that's, This is not great because I don't have a lot of life, and these things love to kill you. All right. I wonder if I can... Oh, man. They can hit you from there. Man, they can hit you from there, too. All right. You know what? All right. Got those. All right. Hmm. patterns oh all right nope. got one all right How do I have to hit these things? Oh man. 
Got another one. Okay. Got him. All right. Nice. Got the key. All right, cool. So we need the earth magic to... All right. The earth magic to which door? Use the earth magic to access the, uh, the lights on the right. All right. So earth magic should get through this guy right here. So earth magic it up. Boom. Got it. Okay. All right, let me go through the door. Room six has a boss battle against a dragon. Just head to the room once you've defeated the dragon. Okay. All right. I got like next to no life left. How am I supposed to beat a dragon with no life? Am I supposed to get like use thunder? All right. Really? Wow. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. These these uh these dungeons are not joking. They're not messing around. Wow. Okay. All right. So, all right, what am I supposed to do now? Um head to the room on the left once you defeated the dragon. This has three green trolls and three blue shells. Uh, kill these in headroom south. All right, just keep going. All right. Um, I guess I guess that's what's going to happen. Um, make sure you buy the key before entering. Yes, that's fine. Um, warp A and warp B are one-way warps. Um, C five is a warp. All right, what's in, what's in D four? Nothing. All right, I mean it says go left. There's another room up there, but it says go left, so let's go left. Jeez. Man, he wish wish he had like a little bit more reach. You know what I mean? Oh. oh, come on! Yikes! At least we have some more magic, and we can kind of get through things. Like again, it's a self-explanatory thing, but like. You know, you gotta like do this. Doors open. You go through here. I mean, at least the doors open. So if the dragon ever appeared, you'd be like, ah. <laughs> all right, so we're back. It's not terrible. Oh, I mean, all these guys respond though. So that's that's a bummer. Just gonna keep your distance on him, I guess. I mean, because hitting, hitting him with the axe is kind of useless. But it's like the fact that they move so, like, oh man. You have to get them, right? Because there's another key or something in here. That's what it says, right? All right what about what about in here? Wow. Yeah. You know, <laughs> All right. Um, kill these and head south. Oh, it just says kill them. I mean, I don't have to. All 
I think we can just keep going. Wow. I don't even, I don't even want to know. <sighs> oh, we have to beat these. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Play smart, not hard, right? So at least they're done. I got like a half life. Oh, hopefully it'll save because I've defeated them in the room. All right, so let's take care of these guys. Yeah, you know, or at least try to anyway. If I lose another couple lives, at least I can just come back here with three and just keep whittling them down by continuing. The weird thing was, like, I got rid of, uh, I got rid of them, and, yeah. All right, so that's good. We got through that. <clears throat> and I just really wish we had reach on these things. I mean, I could, I guess, spend for forever on hitting them with the axe. Because the axe does have more reach. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess the only other good thing is, like, things aren't, like, amazingly spawning every time. So I can continue and get and slog my way through. I should have done something different. And it'll be three, I think. Yep, it'll be three. Hitting them four times with the axe isn't enough? Jeez. Ah. Uh, it's tough. All right. Again, be smart. Oh, come on. All right. Mm. It's so like brutal, especially like that that you know like when you do your choose continue. Okay, they give you three hearts and and three pots, so you can have some magic or whatever. But it's like this. It's really kind of punishing. Mm. I wonder if I could just, you know what the heck with these guys? I'll come back for them later or something. I wonder if I can get in that room and start piling on on those other enemies. I wonder if the ice bell will work. <laughs> just walk in and throw the ice bell. I don't know. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Come on. All right. Mm. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Heck with you guys. I'm going down here. Didn't even like whatever. That's fine. <laughs> it's just like you're done. You're done. Um, is there any other thing? It's like. Move to this and do that. Move to this and do that. Move to this and do that. Let's just do that, do that, kill the boss, do that. Man. No, like, strategy or anything else after this. It's just, like, do all the things and, and you're done. Okay. I mean, I guess it's straightforward, but... Oh, okay, you just get hit. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I might, I, I might do it. Like, I want to see the end of this game. Like, I don't want to just keep pounding my head against the wall. That might be a pull. Yeah. I'm going to cry uncle or whatever, but... It is cool that there's tiles that actually like make the things go. So like the the tiles that are the blank tiles are the ones that actually make the things fire in the room. It's good to know. I wonder what's in this other room. Lots of skeletons and nothing else. I don't think I'm going in there. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> just, just wow. Ah, getting defeated, getting defeated by this. I mean, you could go back out and get more health and come back in, but then you have to do all the whole thing over again, lose all the life that you were going to use. You know, and then try to, I guess, try to, you know, do better or whatever. But, um. Green flame. I don't know whatever, whatever the green flame is. But there's, yeah, there's nothing else in here. And the dungeon treasure, um, yeah, once you get through the dungeon, that is, you, you would get the ship here. And the crystal, obviously. So. Mm. I wonder if I can do this. Let's try to at least clear this room, I guess. Taking our time. Like, it's weird. It's weird because, like, the, the hitboxes on these things, it's so tight. Look at that.
You have to be like on top of the thing to hit it, and then you get hit like just boom, boom. You're like, you're done. It's so weird. I mean, but going in here with two life, it's pointless. Do 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 do. Wow, wow, wow. You guys saw that, right? I hit inside of the frame of the thing, which means the sword should be touching the little clamshelly. It's fine. Oh, hey, now there's these guys again. All right, cool. You know what? Maybe there's this. Maybe maybe we could do this. You got some magic. Maybe we could roast these things. Let's go. We pick up some more pots in another room or whatever, right? Wow! Three enemies. Three enemies. I think the thunder magic doesn't it like freeze them or something? I think that, I think it freezes them. Let's see if I can hit them with the thunder magic. All right. Really, really. Two, one, three. Whew. Okay. What? Why do we have to go to all those other rooms? Warp, um, warp C5, warp A goes to B8, warp B. But then, where's the, how do you get through the boss? G6 is work A, B, key. I guess because you have to pick up the keys? I don't know. All right, but I've got no pots and no nothing else. It doesn't say to go through the warp. Kill these and head south into room 8. Yep, all right. Oh, some invincibility frames for the win. No. Uh, all right. Well, at least all the other enemies are dead.
Maybe it's just the blue guys that I'm going to have to contend with in the room now because I got those other ones done. Let's see. Ouch. All right. Maybe, maybe. We'll keep plotting along. One room at a time, guys. One room at a time. That's that's definitely a bad move. This is a bad move. Yeah. All right. So it's weird that they all spawned again. I killed all the red ones, but that little one iframe of of thing. Let's see. We'll enter the door and see if we can get lucky again. Oh man! Oh man! We're just going to go right here and see if we can get him. Come on, come on. Yes, meat. Yes. All right. I'm not worried about that room. With uh, I'll worry about that later. All right, let's go through this, see what else we got. Unlock the door. What do we got here? Things that throw things. Okay. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, the doors are open. So now we can just run. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So can I just run? Ah, no, no, no. I don't know what those ghosts do. Whew. All right. <laughs> I got through that one. All right, all right. So room 10... Right? Room 10. Kill the three. All right. Four eye blosses. Kill them and move on. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, kill the three bats. When they stand on the blank spaces, you'll be attacked by ghosts. Kill these. Um, wait, wait. Attack by ghosts. Kill these to reveal a bridge. Head into room 11. Kill two fake magic pots and two crabs. Ignore... Ignore the treasure chests as they are fakes. Ignore them. Instead, press the lights on the left-hand side to open a door. Open the door to room 12. Okay. Okay. Open the door. In this room are two blue skeletons, one red. To kill them, dodge the arrows, and pick up the ship from the chest. All right. Once you have this, head back to blah, 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 warp cube. Um, kill the boss, blah, 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 blah. All right. Cool. All right. Awesome. So in that room is the ship, is the, the chest. So hopefully we can get through this to this point and then have that be like a, like a, I don't know, something point. All right. So we have to go in through here and then kill the, these things. Okay. They're moving slow enough. All right. Ah, I, I didn't. I didn't want the chest. I didn't want the chest. Oh, my goodness. All right. But we can run. We can run. All right. It's so weird. You go through a half hour, and then all of a sudden, you get all these breakthroughs. All right. So I'm going to get hit. It's fine. It's fine. You run through here. Well, the dragon doesn't show back up. We're fine. Ow. It's fine. Ow. No, oh, God, no. <laughs> All right. Um, I <laughs> I don't even... I have got a half a heart. Like, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it, stop it. <sighs> whatever, 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 whatever. Oh, no. Are you serious?
I've got no horns because the thing stole them all, and my plate mail is bogus, so I don't even get the bonus for protection on these. So let's see what happens. I know I'm blinking. Let's see what happens if I get hit by a thing. All right, it's not that bad, actually. Maybe the blinking doesn't necessarily matter that much. Maybe I can get the ship and get out of here. Maybe I can still do that. All right. Ooh. Run. Ooh. Well, those hit. Those hit. All right. I don't want this. That's so mean. That's so mean. Oh wait, so so it kill them. All right. So press on the lights on the left hand side. So I get. So can I just do that? Yes, I can. So you, you don't even have to go into there. Ah. Well, that door should be open, though. All right, they didn't have anything for me. Everything's starting to respawn now. So maybe I can get through the rooms and get in there and get that chest. Because that chest does have what I want. Oh god, really? Oh my goodness! What a gauntlet this is! What a gauntlet! Alright. Have some meat or something. Oh, come on! Oh, it's this way. They have to be... They have to be facing me this way. I think. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have horns. I don't need the horns. Oh, I only have half. Well, at least the room's clear. Like, if someone just looks at me, I'm going to be dead. All right. Yeah. That's fine. Um, that other room shouldn't have anything in it again. Good. All right. Very good. Oh, it spawned right on me. All right. So obviously you need magic oil. Now we need some oil because, you know, like that thing hit me because it's so ridiculously unfair. I don't want to leave though, because if I leave, I think everything respawns. Everything respawns. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's there's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> um, can I get there? I don't know. Can I get there enough and then grab the thing? I don't know, maybe. I just gotta get lucky. Oh, 
Ouch. Woo! All right. But do I have the ship? Yes. Yes, I have the ship. All right. Oh, man. All right, let's go to the wrap up. <laughs> so, Dungeon 7. What a lesson to be learned here on this Tuesday Master System Monday. Um all right, I'm calling I'm calling out to you guys. All right. So, I want to finish this game. I do. I really do. Um I don't know if I have the time, patience, whatever, any whatever. In order to get through this game without enacting the by any means necessary of the game. Um, I know it's one of those things and people can yell at me and whatever. Um, but I really want to finish this game. So if somebody's here at the very end of this video and has seen me go through the 40 minutes that we've gone through together, um, and then is just like, you know what, Rich, whatever you got to do to beat this, just go and do it. Um, and then, you know, some old man mode. For those of you that know, there is actually, I, th I think there's even a, a thing here and all that. Do I have an old man mode? No, I didn't even I didn't even bother uploading it. All right. So there there is such a thing as old man mode. And I might have to enact it in order to uh to get this to get this done here. Um I don't want to, but something tells me that I'm not gonna be able to beat this without it. Um you know, because there's nothing else it's other than just beat the boss. There's nothing else that it tells me to do. There's no like just no, you know, like uh, easier way to getting through it or whatever. Um, so I think I'm just gonna need a little, uh, a little assistance. Um, so um, we'll see, we'll see. So uh, let me know down below. What do you think about this? Um, we did get the ship. We grind, we grinded enough. We got in there, just bounded our head against the wall. We got the ship. We got it. Um, so that means we can go anywhere, but we can't go anywhere until we get the crystal, which we need in order to beat this. So we have to go through the warp to then go through and get all the stuff. So that's the reason why I was saying to go all those different directions. So now we can just hit the warp and go into the second part of the dungeon, um, which I think is, uh, was it D, was it D3? And then you gotta probably go get a key in the next room, go over one, up one. Beat everything you need to do. Boss room. Beat the boss. Done. Done for. Um, but with three health, you know, like, we have to leave. We have to leave the dungeon. I mean, there's no, no question that we have to leave the dungeon. So, you know, like then we have to actually survive our way back through to a place where we can get horns to then get the horns and then go through the thing. And uh, it's just wow, just wow. Plus lots, lots of wow. So again, let me know down below what you what you think in the comments. Like, should we? Should we not? Should we? Maybe do something um and then uh we will do we will do whatever it is uh that needs to be done in order to to get this this uh this game done here um but yeah man i'm kind of rattled <laughs> uh doing this all in one day like over the weekend here it's like you know someone was almost an hour and 15 minutes or something like that and it's just barely getting through uh, part of the dungeon and it keeps going that way man i'm never gonna finish this thing so anyway again let me know down below thanks guys so much for watching and hanging out with me i know there's plenty of sources that are better suited for your master system gameplay needs but this is one of those things where like i, re I really just want to like experience it and i want to share it with you guys and if you know a couple of you guys are watching then great if none of you that's fine too it's just you know like call this a uh, video diary almost of uh of me playing this game it's just so wild so wild anyway thanks you guys again and until next time we will catch you next time for some good times i'm rich that's me and we'll see you later all right take it easy guys
team, rtsc.baconicecream.com.